was a fun one. I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. I am Pete Thorne. Hi, I'm here for Vintage King, and uh, we're going to look at the Caroline Guitar Company's uh, Cannonball pedal. It's an extremely unique, special limited run pedal. You can see it says uh, Vintage King right on it. So uh, what they do is they start off with their uh, 70s uh, op-amp fuzz distortion circuit. That's called the Wave Cannon. And then they rehouse it in this unique, cool aluminum enclosure and uh, add a couple unique features. Um, the, the pedal is essentially a, uh, 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 can be anything from what they, they call a, uh, cleanish boost all the way up through overdrive to distortion to full on fuzz. Uh, and when you hold down this momentary switch on this pedal right here, the, the thing oscillates and just goes crazy and it becomes very interactive with your guitar volume control. And you saw me kind of mess with that in the, uh, the song at the beginning of the video, you turn the volume control and the oscillation will change pitch and just go nuts. It's really cool. So, uh, let's check it out with a couple different guitars. I like this pedal a lot. I'm not gonna give it back. Shh, don't tell anybody. I gotta keep this one. The Caroline Guitar Company Cannonball. Okay, so I got a Les Paul into my Sur SL68. The amp sound on about two. Here's the tone with no pedal. Okay, and I uh, just want to run over the controls really quick. So turning on the uh, the uh, Cannonball pedal, and I've got it set um, for just kind of a, a clean boost with a bit of grind. Okay, the first control here is called the speaker control, okay, and that's basically the uh, volume control. Allows you to vary the volume of the pedal. Next up, I'm reading here because these controls have unique names. Next up, we've got the stack control. Allows you to control the overall treble flavor of the pedal. So it's the tone control kind of. Okay, you can just dial in as much treble as you want. Next up, you've got the rock hands control. Guess what that does? Gain. A huge range of gain there, obviously. Get into fuzz territory in the top level of that control. And last but not least, you got the shape control, uh, which uh, they say refines the frequency response and grit and is more pronounced at lower gain settings. Okay, so now I'm just going to play a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more of the uh, rock hands control, because that can't hurt, right? Everybody likes that. Alright, it's time to wreak havoc with the havoc switch, this momentary switch right here. So uh, when I push it down, the pedal's gonna go crazy. And uh, I'll do it first while I'm holding a chord, and you can hear what happens when I'm still playing, but this thing makes noise even when uh, you're not playing anything at all. So I'll show you what I mean here. <laughs> Okay, so it does awesome things to chords and, and individual notes and whatnot, but if you just stop playing and hold the switch down. Okay, and that's me varying the volume pot on my guitar, which I assume it changes impedance or something like that, and, and then, you know, that messes with the pedal and does this all this cool stuff. So if you hold down the switch and vary the controls on the pedal, it's also gonna do interesting things. Okay, so it's all very interactive and you can get just some crazy stuff happening with it. You know, really interesting and unpredictable uh, uh, effects with the Havoc switch. All right, uh, this pedal's got so many cool sounds in it. You can see the settings I got going on your screen there right now. I'm just gonna play a little bit and see what happens.
right, y'all. When it comes to wreaking sonic devastation, there's a new sheriff in town. The cannonball, you hear? I don't know why I'm talking like that. Uh, I am Pete Thorne for Vintage King. Thanks for watching the video. See ya.